Pretty awesome, right? Screen mirroring your iPhone, any iPhone by the way, to your desktop computer, to your laptop, to your MacBook, it doesn't matter what you have. This will work with literally anything you have. It's so snappy, I mean, look at this. No lag at all, so simple, so smooth, and the resolution on this is absolutely crazy. I've never seen anything like this before. It's so awesome. And the best part is that it's extremely simple. It's just plug and play, literally. And that's not the only way you can mirror your iPhone to your computer or your desktop. There's two different ways I'm gonna show you both in this video. So let's just, let's just, let's just dive right into it. To mirror your iPhone to your desktop computer or your laptop or your MacBook, it doesn't matter. It's completely simple and it's absolutely free by the way. And the best part is that you don't have to download anything on your iPhone, literally anything. No third party apps because it's just plug and play. It's really that simple. So let's just dive right into it. All right, so step number one is to go to the AnyMirror website. Links will be in the description box below. It's completely free as I've said before. Just click on the link and just click on the free download. I have done this before, so I really cannot download it again. Really simple installation. Just click on it and that's pretty much it. All right, so once you open it up, you're gonna have two different options. One is for the iOS or iPad, or second is for the Android. In this case, both are pretty simple. So let me just get over to the iOS. And by the way, before we get into it, you can get you can go to the settings, you can go to the preferences, and you can actually change you can and you can actually change the resolution as well. So in this case, I've just set it to the original original resolution. That means the whatever resolution my iPhone is, that's gonna be uh, printed on my system as well. So you can actually change the FPS as well. I would I would I would recommend keep it on 60 to make it really really fluid and you can actually change the Android screen mirroring settings as well. I would just keep it, just look at these settings and copy these settings, don't change anything. These are the best settings you're gonna get out of this. All right, so now what you wanna do is to basically, you have two options to connect your iPhone or Android phone to your computer or your desktop or uh, your laptop or MacBook. So one is by USB, that means basically you have to plug in this, you plug in this lightning cable to your iPhone and that's pretty much it. Or you could actually use your Wi-Fi to do this. So in this case you want to do in this case if you want to do it in this case if you want to do it wirelessly you can actually go to your settings page, go to your wireless and make sure your iPhone is connected to your home Wi-Fi and make sure your system or or laptop or MacBook is also on the same exact network, okay? So that is really important. Ne the, these two needs to be on the same network. And the second thing you want to do is basically head over to your control center and inside the control center, you can see the screen mirroring option right there, and you, can, and you would see your system right there. So that basically means that my system and my iPhone are not on the same network. That's why I'm not seeing any at the moment, but it's gonna work for you if you have this if you have the system on your Wi-Fi. All right, so now I wanna now I'm gonna show you for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be using the USB. So let me just show you how really awesome this is. So basically, I just have to plug it in and wait for it. It's iPhone is charging as well, so. And there you go. It's asking. It's showing that's being connected to. So if you're doing if you're doing this for the first time, it might ask you to trust the computer or trust your laptop or whatever you have. In this case, I've done this before, and that's that's pretty much it. It's pretty awesome. You can watch videos. By the way, the audio will be coming from your uh, computer or your laptop. And the way you change it, basically, if you go into if you go into your control center. If you go into if you go into your control center, head over to the music, and you can see the icon of your computer right there. So if you just click on that, you can see it's connected to my dock connector. You can just click on it if you want the audio from your uh, iPhone, or if you want the audio from your system, just click on the dock, and that's pretty much it. Pretty pretty awesome, right? Pretty neat. You can watch videos if you want to. If you want if you want to watch videos, you can do that. I have made a couple videos, so let me just open up. All right. The audio, the audio is coming from the uh, my computer, by the way. <laughs> so, but the thing is that you can actually watch videos and do whatever you like. So it's really, really simple. By the way, this view is from my balcony. It was amazing. I had to make a video about it. About it. It's just awesome. By the way, be sure to follow me on Insta if you want to. I upload tons. But that's pretty much it. You can watch videos. You can watch YouTube. You can listen to music if you want to. Basically, you can do tons with this. You can even use your camera if you want to. Look at this. Let me, uh, okay, let me just take a photo of my graphic card. Let me use, there you go. And you can actually view the photo as well. That is a blurry photo on my iPhone as well. <laughs> Not gonna lie. But yeah, you can, you, you can do this. And you can see the screen will expand itself as you're zooming in. So it's really, really neat. It's just so awesome. You can actually go into the, uh, you can go into the vertical mode as well. So let me just enable that. So right there, see? You can do that. It's just, 
you can do you can you can play games if you want to it's just pretty awesome let me just open up clash of clans and you can see how quick and snappy that is okay it seems like i've been raided it's okay but the point is that it's really smooth and the resolution on this is unbelievable i can play games on my iphone and it won't affect the uh, resolution on my system it's just so unbelievably good so that's pretty much it by the way all right so let me just go out of it all right, so now let's talk about the pricing or is it free? It's basically free and if you wanna register, you can get an extra 20 minutes. That means if you wanna register, go into your account. Go into your account, as you can see, I have done this before. So basically, if you look at the if you look at the corner, you have 20 minutes if you're doing this for the free. And if you want to register, you can get an extra 20 minutes. Really simple. That means you will get total 40 minutes every single day. And if you want to buy this product, also links will be in the description box below. You can do it for monthly, you can do it for yearly or quarterly. So it's tons of options. Really awesome product. Be sure to check it out. All the links will be in the description box below. And it's completely free. You don't have to do anything. You don't want to sign up. That's completely okay. You're going to get 20 minutes. And if you want to sign up, you're going to get extra 20 minutes, making it 40 minutes of screen mirroring every single day. It's pretty awesome, right? Well, leave a like in the video. And if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. That's it for, the, that's it for me and for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If this video is helpful, if this video is helpful, please leave a like and, and please leave a like. If you have questions, do let me know. Be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.